Well, hello out there. My name is Bill Rose, and uh, sometimes I'm kind of an armchair physicist. <laughs> and uh, I saw in the news that CERN, that laboratory over in Switzerland, fired a particle down to Italy, and the particle exceeded the speed of light by a few uh, nanoseconds. And so uh, the news are saying, well, now is time travel possible. But once again, I'd like to point out that uh, time does not exist. Time is an abstract concept invented by people, you know, with the sundial and then later with the clocks and the watches and the digital clocks and all that. Because... Uh, Time is not a physical thing. It's not tangible. It's not an animal, vegetable, or mineral. Uh, you can't see it. You can't smell it. It's not a gas. <laughs> you know, it's not a solid. It's not a liquid. It's just an abstract concept that man has invented in order to keep appointments. <laughs> or so that you know what time you get up in the morning or whatever. So if time is an abstract concept, you obviously can't travel through an abstract, an abstract concept. However, gravity does exist and does exert uh, physical force on, on uh, planetary bodies. So, if there was going to be any traveling from the future to the past or whatever, it would have to be done through gravity. Now, gravity is instantaneous, you know. So, I'm thinking that uh, all these movies about time travel, you know, they're, they're really neat and interesting to watch. Uh, they kind of put you on a, wrong, on a wrong train track, so to speak, you know. So they're saying, well, maybe Einstein was wrong, you know, that uh, there are things that go faster than the speed of light. Well, hey, you know, a few years ago, um, there was this physicist in one of the universities, I forget his name and I forget which university it was, but you can Google it and find out when you, when you listen to what I've got to say. He had a chamber full of cesium gas, cesium. I call it cesium, <laughs> but it's really called cesium. C E S I U M. Gas. Filled, filled his chamber with gas. He fired a laser through it, and the laser came out doing six times faster than the speed of light. The speed of light is 186,000 miles uh, per second. And the scientists, you know, they, they do it in meters and things like that. But for us laymen, uh, you know, 186,000 uh miles per second is, is the formula. So, um, this guy, you know, proved that the speed of light is not the ultimate constant because his laser beam came out traveling at six times faster than light. So, if you will Google laser beam through cesium chamber six times faster than light, faster than light, uh, that video will pop up somewhere you'll find it, you know, just uh, Google for it. So therefore, uh, you know, we're not light beams and we can't, you know, travel on light beams, <laughs> you know. We, we would have to find a way uh, to transport our physical being inside of a container on a gravity wave aimed at the area where you want to go, you know, or, or, or whatever. Now they were saying, you know, well, you know, when when, uh, when the speed of light travels at the speed of light or faster, everything else slows down. And so therefore you're really going into the future of the object of the planet that you left. But they don't know that for sure. You know, I mean, that's their speculation. See. Everything is open. You know, you can make your own theory that nobody can dispute it. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? So the field of physics when it comes to traveling through time, and there again I got caught up trapped in my own uh, verbiage there, as time is not really uh, a concept, it's an abstract concept. You can't travel through that. But anyway, uh, and, uh, and our language is riddled with all kinds of references to time. You know, like tomorrow I'm going to go to the store. Look, listen to what I just said. Tomorrow, which means the next time the sun and the earth makes a revolution, uh, like that, there's the sun and the earth is making a revolution like that. The next revolution I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to go to the store. I'm going to is another uh, reference to time, you know. And uh, if you listen to your language day in and day out, everything you say, everything you hear, you'll hear that it is permeated with references to time. <laughs> and so we're in a mindset that we can't get out. We're in a box that we can't get out. But you can get out of that box if you consider that time does not exist realize that it's just an abstract concept and take it from there. 